Aaron Rodgers is staying, Russell Wilson is going, Carson Wentz is going, so who is the next best available quarterback? Because he's so handsome, I think I will say Jimmy Garoppolo, but I think the right answer is actually Jameis Winston. I think Jameis Winston has a chance to get it together. I, I, Jameis Winston, he's the most talented. I take him ahead of Garoppolo. I take him ahead of um, Trubisky. Trubisky. I'm trying to think who else is even in this conversation. I, I think Jameis Winston is the right answer to that question. Um, I think he's actually, if you're including the players in the draft, I think Winston is better. I don't think either of, I think Winston, if he was in this draft, would be the first quarterback taken easily. So I will say Jameis Winston. Green, in the last month, the NFC has lost Tom Brady, Sean Payton, and Russell Wilson. So my question is, which team in that conference is ready to take the next big step? Well, yeah. So there were a couple of different directions I could see that going. One of them, I think, would delight you. I think it could be the Eagles. I think the Eagles could be the next team to take a big jump there. A lot of it will depend on how they use their draft picks this year. But I liked what I saw from that coach last year, and I liked what I saw from the young quarterback another year. If he just gets – I don't know what his ceiling is, but if he reaches it, whatever it is, I think they could be much better. I also kind of want to say Minnesota. Hmm. I, I feel like Minnesota has so much talent. Like, they just have so much skill position talent. Um, it's been underutilized. They lost the most ridiculous games you've ever seen in your entire life last year. So there's a part of me that thinks it's one of those two teams. Between Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson, which of those two is likelier to win MVP of the league next season? Oh, I think it's Wilson easily because it's a narrative award. I don't expect him to do it, let me be clear. But if he plays great, if he's awesome, and they wind up winning that division, which is certainly not out of the question, if they wind up something like 14-3 and three and, and the one seed, or what, I think he is the favorite because he's a guy who's never gotten a vote. Rodgers would have to rewrite record books, I think, to win the award because he's won in each of the last two years. Rodgers' show-me time is going to come in January, not in any of the months that preceded. So I base this on the fact that I think Rodgers would have to move heaven and earth to even be considered for that award. I will say real Wilson is likelier to win it. How many teams are better than Denver in the AFC now that the Broncos have Russell Wilson? And it's a very complicated question because if you asked me how many teams are definitively better than them, meaning I can say with some degree of certainty, I think I would stop at one, and that would be Buffalo, maybe Kansas City, but that would be it. But if you're asking me in a broader sense – like, if I had to bet my money on this team or that team to be better, I, I just jotted down the candidates. Let's go around the hashtag crew and see where we wind up. All right? So, there are, in my opinion, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams worth mentioning in, in, in this discussion. So, we'll just go around. I'll say the name of the team, and you tell me, better than Denver, yes or no? Kansas City, Hembo. Yes. Nuno. Yes. Bubba. Yes. Okay, so that's one. Tennessee, Hembo. No. Bubba. No. Okay, so the no's are going to have it there. Uh, Nuno, what would you say? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts, and again, I throw them in here. We don't know who their quarterback is going to be, but they will get one. So I'm projecting them having something like Jimmy Garoppolo or Mitch Trubisky. Are they better than Denver? Hembo. No. Bubba. No. Nuno. Yes. Okay, but the no's have it. The Pittsburgh Steelers, we don't know who their quarterback is going to be. They, I, they have, I think, exceptional skill position talent on the offensive side. They have a very good defense. They need a lot of work on the offensive line. Are the Steelers going to be better than Denver? Hembo? No. Nuno? Nope. All right, so the no's are going to have it. Cincinnati, they made the Super Bowl last year. They have money to spend, and they got an offensive line to rebuild. If they do that, they feel loaded. Are they better than Denver? Hembo? Yes. Nuno? Yes. Okay, then yeses are going to have it. Bubba, what would you have said? I would agree, yep. Okay, so that's two. The Baltimore Ravens, they were ravaged by injury last year. Let's assume that you can't be that unlucky in back-to-back -back seasons. Lamar Jackson may wind up playing in a contract year. He could be playing for $200 million or something like that. Are the Ravens better than Denver Hembo? Yes. Nuno? Oof. Um... No. Bubba. 
I think yes. Okay, Bubba's the deciding vote. That's three. The Buffalo Bills, are we all just going to say yes? I would, yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. And then one more, and, and I will say New England, with their ability to just grow under Mac Jones and be giving Bill the benefit of the doubt and everything else, uh, is New England going to be better than Denver Hembo? No. No, no. Nope. Uh, okay, and then Bubba, it doesn't matter because there's no. a, So right now, is, is there any team I left out? Like, I, I didn't include, like, the Raiders. I didn't include the Chargers. A lot of people like the Chargers. I do. I cannot buy into that coach. I'm not accepting the Chargers as an answer here. Well, are you sure Am that I the, forgetting anybody? Are you sure that the Broncos' new coach wasn't just I don't know propped up by Aaron Rodgers all those years? Are we certain that he can coach? No, I'm not certain of anything. But you used the phrase yesterday: "The devil you know versus the devil you don't." The second I see him punt the first time, he's a better coach than Brandon Staley. <laughs> okay. The first punt that they have this season, he's a better coach. Brandon Staley just threw away the playoffs. What last about year. the Dolphins with the? Their new coach, and they get a quarterback. I, I'm not. I mean, th th their quarterback is Tua. Am I missing something? Is is that? Do I have that right? Is the, is there some other thing coming down the pike here that I'm not aware of that that is going to change there? Or, or is Tua their quarterback? I, guess, I mean, right now, I guess it's Tua. I mean, yeah, I don't. I know. think it remains Tua. I mean, they're saying it's going to be Tua. But for the but longest time, they were the primary team connected to Deshaun Watson, as we yeah. all know. Well, but they've ruled that Correct. out. Correct. Right. They've mm -hmm. basically ruled that out. I also think there is going to be a Brian Flores hangover there, uh, which is to say, I think that there are a lot of players who are going to be very put off by that. I think there are going to be players, a combination of the racial piece of this which I think is very important and is not over. I, I'm talking to a variety of people. There are other stories that are going to come out about this. And then the piece about the owner offering a million dollars a loss, which is definitely not over, and the league is doing an investigation and everything else, I think there's going to be a hangover from that. I think that is going to be a tough one for the organization. I definitely would not put Miami ahead of Denver right now. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.